Hey, this is Macy with Don't Show the Tapes. So I was gonna share a little inspirational um, piece from the Bible that I was reading on. It's uh, Jeremiah 29 11. It says, for I know the plans I have for you, declared the Lord, to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. So what I got from that is, um, well, <laughs> So it may seem like sometimes that God is doing things to harm you or nothing's working out and it's like, how could this situation be helping me, God? How could me being broke, no money, struggling to make ends meet, be helping me? Or how can I get out of this situation that I'm in? I'm so in debt, I'm at the end of my rope. How in any way, God, could this situation help me? Well. So, like Jeremiah, they call him the pessimist, or the weeping prosper or prophet, or whatever. He was very persistent, stayed very close in his faith, no matter what. He was taken through trial after trial after trial, to where it seemed like nothing would work, and there was no way out, no hope. But still, in the midst of the fire, he stayed in faith with God. And um, you could see, I guess, towards the end of the book or whatever, that it worked out for him in his way or in his favor. Anyways, so if we could all be like Jeremiah and just, sorry, and just stay in our faith and keep our minds on God, it would make the situation a lot better. I know that it sounds corny and that it sounds unrealistic sometimes because situations become so ungodly and so unreal that it's like god if you are letting this happen to me you don't love me there's no way why would i have gone through this i've hurt this much if you love me god <clears throat> so my answer to that is all the hurt all the trials all the tribulation that you go through is to make you stronger so for example <clears throat> I have been down the most rugged, brawled out, drug addicted life. I've been to where I feel like, felt like there was no way out, there was no option, and that I would always be what I was. And now, me trying to do better and live right, all of those times that I struggled and all the hard times made my hard times now nothing. Like this, I'm, I'm going through some hard times, but they're nothing compared to what they were before I found God. And I know now that all those times and trials were to build me and make me strong and to where I could take the hurt and take the pain and embrace it and turn it into something positive. Hopefully speak to one of these young girls that are out there that are confused and don't know what path to go down or or if there's others like there like them and I just hope that my message reaches out to them even if it just reaches out to one girl my mission would be succeeded I just wish that I would have came across somebody that was going through my situation or going through the same thing at the same time so I wouldn't have had to struggle as hard but it's made me stronger in the long run so anyways just my advice is to not give up you have to stay strong in your faith and even when it seems like there's no way out and there's no possible outcome but failure you have to push through those feelings and those thoughts and just look to God and he will find a way for you and um as long as you seek him with all your heart and all your mind, he will be there when you seek for him. I promise. I have been the lowest of low. I've been the worst kind of sinner that you could ever think of. And I'm not in too great of a condition right now or situation, but I know that God has got my back and that he's going to make all of this into something beautiful. I know that one day I will be able to look back and say, I'm glad I went through that because it made me so much stronger.